Okay, um, hypoglycemia is one of the very commonly tested scenario uh, in semen. It has been asked several times. It is very easy to approach, very easy to score maximum marks. I've seen so many candidates scoring marks 12 out of 12. Uh, usually the patient is uh, unconscious the patient may be conscious but very drowsy so it depends upon your situation whatever the situation is hypoglycemia is very very easy station you can score 12 marks okay so let me tell you how you will approach starting from the a b c d e it is the lifeline of any patient so it is a lifeline for you as well so you follow the protocol a b c d e you follow the guidelines provided by resuscitation council uk so a b c d e is the lifeline in this patient You are not going to anywhere else. Just follow this A, B, C, D. Talk to the patient. If the patient is talking to you, airway is patent, strict, and uh, move forward towards assessment of the breathing. If the patient is breathing okay and the oxygen saturation is fine, do a formal assessment. Normally, you will be pushed forward and you will be um, helped by the examiner. They usually say no problem. Then you move forward. So. Uh, B is ticked in C most of the time you do not see any trouble uh, pulse is normal blood pressure is normal the temperature is also normal I say temperature in C because uh, I feel that the temperature should be checked with the C this is where uh, you find more trouble uh, caused by temperature low or high temperature then D is the main area where you will find the trouble okay you will uh, you need to assess a patient if the patient is unconscious and uh, uh, you do not get any response a b c d e is the main key okay so assess the patient following the a v p u scale or following the gcs if you do not get anything the next thing that you need to do is look into the pupil and if the pupil are equal reactive then the next thing is to check the glucose you will need to check the glucose yourself there will be a glucometer provided you need to approach to the glucometer bring it closer to the patient and show that you actually want to check it then only you will get the prompt or the answer from the examiner maybe it is 1.9 1.8 or maybe 2 so whatever it is you need to act upon accordingly if the patient has the IV line then you can use that IV line to give them 20% dextrose or 10% dextrose whichever is available you need to make sure that you go to towards the trolley and pick it up and bring to the patient hang with the drip stand okay and make sure that you pick the appropriate fluid there may be the injections read the injections carefully if there is no IV line you will need the injection to give uh, to this patient the injection that you require is a glucagon intramuscular one milligram okay so if no IV line I am glucagon if the patient has IV line 10% to 20% of dextrose infusion and continue repeating the patient's glucose until it reaches 4 or above the patient will require further assessment by performing further routine investigations plus HbA1c. Refer the patient to the diabetic team, diabetes specialist nurse. The patient will require referring to the endocrinologist as well. Okay, continue monitoring. Look into the drug chart. Uh, look for the uh, for any alteration that that the patient may require. Uh, refer the patient to the dietitian if the patient's uh, diet needs for the assessment or you are concerned about the patient's diet if the patient needs any swallowing assessment refer the patient to the salt team okay and if the patient is on high level of insulin you might need to reduce the dose of the insulin so that it is optimized uh, according to the uh, glucose levels 
okay so a b c d e you assess airway you assess the breathing you assess the circulation okay d is the main area where you will find the trouble and in d you assess the patient following a avp you scale checking both pupils checking uh, the glucose yourself make sure that you do not simply go and stay state that I want to know the glucose they will never give you so you need to go and pick the glucometer and bring it to the patient then you will get if the glucose is low BM is low give the patient intramuscular glucagon one milligram if there is no IV line if the patient has the IV line then you can give 10% or 20% of dextrose and continue giving until the patient's BM becomes four or above then Reassess the patient, come to E, expose the patient, look for anything else if you can find. Okay, cover the patient, thank the patient, refer the patient to the diabetic team, endocrinologist, do the HbA1c plus all the routine investigations, and uh, refer the patient to the dietitian, refer the patient to the nutritionist, and look into the drug chart, optimize the medications and see if the patient is skipping any meal, guide the patient and teach the patient about the risk of developing hypoglycemia. Okay, it is very important that you uh, complete all those steps. These stations are very easy, especially the hypoglycemia is extremely easy. Many of the candidates complete that within two to three minutes then if you have the time you can continue taking a bit more history uh, ask about any previous uh, episodes of hypoglycemia ask about how they are coping and uh, uh, you can take more detailed history depending upon how much time you have it is important that you carefully read the last part of the scenario and uh, do the task accordingly sometimes it may say at two minutes warning talk to the examiner and sometimes they may say discuss the management with the patients so depending upon what your task is you should carry on best of luck